up at Unicorn here and what a fantastic weekend this has been firstly the federal recognition and therefore nationwide celebration of Juneteenth on June 19th then Father's Day on the 20th where we got a chance to observe our amazing American fathers and then today Amazon 2021 Prime Day on the 21st of June so I'll say all three happy Juneteenth happy Father's Day and happy Prime Day so my friends, you have 38 hours, like approximately 38 hours to engage in this auspicious unofficial holiday, right? Which is pretty much the cousin of Black Friday. Generally, Prime Day is considered best for technology, while Black Friday is good for all kinds of things, like including homeware, bedding mattresses, and more day-to-day -day living items. That gap is closing, though, as Prime Day becomes a bigger deal. So let's make it a bigger deal so we can get some bigger and better deals. If you are at all familiar with my channel, if not, welcome. But if you are familiar, you'll often see me refer to myself as Amazon's Amazon because I'm a very well-built giantess of a woman. Lightly codependent on Amazon Prime, I receive several deliveries weekly and have been a member for so long I've lost track of how much time and money Amazon has saved me due to my Amazon Prime membership. Straight up. The golden egg of having a membership with Amazon Prime is two-day free delivery. No shipping and handling costs, just the price of your item, tax it if it applies, then boom, at your door in a matter of two quarantine naps and maybe a from-home work day. It's awesome. Amazon delivery persons thrive on compliments. So they deliver when and how you want them to deliver. I can have them deliver to the sliding door on the side of my um, home, the front door, back door. I mean, I even once saw a woman write in her delivery description, hi, these packages from my husband and the Amazon delivery person put each package in the bushes. <laughs> she had like the shrubbery in her yard. And so the, the Amazon person really did it and then sent the photos of where she could find them because I mean, that woman, I mean, she had it her way because she's got Amazon Prime. So first things first, you may be wondering, how do I get an Amazon Prime account? Well, number one, open the Amazon website or the Amazon app, which is compatible blah, 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 compatible with Android and iOS. Second, you're going to sign in on the app or website if you haven't already with your registered Amazon account. I'm assuming you already have an Amazon account, at least if you don't have Prime membership, because why wouldn't you? It's 2021. Why wouldn't you? Number three, in the app, tap on the menu icon on the top left and then tap on Try Prime. Number four, click or tap on start your 30 day Amazon Prime free trial. When you do this today, not only are you enjoying a free trial, but all of the perks of this unholiday similar to Black Friday called Amazon Prime Day. <laughs> Well, okay, so membership is going to be $12.99 a month unless you want to pay that like $119 altogether, right? Now, this could possibly beg the question, which I would fully understand, how do I get a cheaper Amazon Prime membership? Y'all, listen, if you have an EBT or a Medicaid card, Amazon will let you sign up for a cheaper Prime membership. You'll get the same 30-day free trial that everyone else gets, okay? Let's start there. Not only that, but you can plug in the numbers of your EBT card just as you would with any other debit, gift, or credit card, and then purchase EBT food eligible items and have them delivered to your door. Where were we? Okay, something about, um, got it. <laughs> so if you have either of those cards, or maybe you're just a student and can prove that you're a student, like with your university ID, Amazon will only bill you five or six ninety nine per month for Prime. That's about half the cost of a standard Prime subscription, which again usually costs $12.99 a month or $1.19 a year. So now that you've invested in your best self by becoming an Amazon Prime member, <laughs> did I mention same day grocery deliveries? Yeah. Okay. So I digress. You may be wondering as a new Amazon Prime member, how do I heck and prepare for Amazon Prime Day? If you are anything like me, by the way, good luck in life if you are, you go through your wish list or, you know, whatever kind of list there's a hashtag found it on Amazon list, but you go through your wish list or waiting list daily and add items daily. I never have less than 40 items waiting on my wish list. Working from home, I tend to leave the tab open and browse it when ADHD happens and just kind of note to myself when the prices of items I've listed go down. But if you're nothing like me, good for you, by the way, this is your prep list. Number one, 
get Amazon Prime. Number two, make some wish lists. There's a wish wish list, watch list, wait list, hashtag found it on Amazon list. You can create your own list, a registry, etc. Number three, start price tracking. Four, look for sales on Amazon branded products. Not only are their prices competitive, but there are over 3 million different items that can be shipped to you for free in two days. And this is without it even being Prime Day. Now add to that the fact that for these next 38 hours, it is Prime Day. Number five, you're gonna wanna keep an eye out for credits and bonuses because these sneak up on you. Like I will literally be checking out and have some six or seven dollar credit I can use, but I miss it because of ADHD. So now I slow my row and I click where it says, would you like to apply your whatever 99 credit to this purchase? And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yes I would. Awesome thing is, right, because I'm a forgetter. Awesome thing is a credit is a credit is a credit. It won't leave you, it's not going to expire patient and loyal like puppies okay so I literally missed a specific credit like three or four times and it was just there over and over again and I'm like oh <laughs> faithful so number six you're gonna check other retailers for competing sales I don't do this as much anymore because I've already added something called honey as an extension on my google chrome so I kind of already know when a deal is a deal because that's what honey does um, but of course this is how you can track that manually if that's your thing and if you don't like something, complain. Now follow me here because this is going to sound like a diss, but it's not. Amazon is like some kind of a narcissist that is so de like dependent on compliments, going to fish those things out of you however it can. Now on a human being, that's a bad quality. But on a corporation, I mean, it's <laughs> it's goals. Like I remember one time my dress didn't come, right? I was so mad, so, so mad, right? Floral thing body con i was like oh my god my dress never showed up and then amazon goes oh my god we're so sorry like would how would you like your refund in the form of a gift card a shopping credit or a return to the original method of electronic transfer and i'm like well amazon honestly i just want my dress then here goes amazon like okay well we're going to check with a retailer in the event that it's not amazon right because obviously you know there are people who sell you know they have their own store so maybe you, you're a retailer somewhere in china for example and they're like okay so here's how you can get in touch with your retailer like let's work this out together sis like let's both do what's in our capability to do if all else fails we apologize and send you account credits for your losses like that's pretty awesome because mm, I mean, when it comes to ordering things online, there are so many people who would rather shop in person because there's so much money and time and sizes and whatever that you can lose. And they just really want to reassure you, first of all, and to ensure, right, they reassure you and then ensure that you're having a pleasant experience. They, that it's what they thrive off of. So Amazon Prime Day is two full days of epic sales that end in 38 hours from right now. Check the time this upload goes up. 38 hours approximately from now. So that's all I got for you to t today. Here's hoping that you'll take full advantage of this opportunity to save in these hard times wherein 22 million Americans are unemployed. Same numbers as our OG Great Depression, by the way. So once you go Amazon, you'll keep your pajamas on. <laughs> I'm laughing at my own jokes. You know, like you get it because you, um, you know, you won't need to leave the house for anything. Okay. Ouch. Anxiety for being corny. <laughs> I'm a pretty unicorn. And I'm out of here. Horns up, man. <laughs>